What is up guys? So if you're a Galaxy S10e user, uh, Android 10 with One UI uh, has rolled out. I went ahead and updated today. If you want to see every single thing that's new, here is the uh, log here. But I'm just going to take you briefly over um, all of the new stuff. Now it wasn't a whole bunch of stuff, uh, but it was enough stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first is the edge lightning. So there are uh, new effects here and kind of like a new layout here, which is pretty nice. Let's go through all of them. Multicolor and the heartbreak one, the fireworks one, then you have the eclipse one, and then you have the echo one. And then you can change the colors. You can choose pretty much any color you want. And then we have advanced. So if you want high transparency or the duration, you want it to last longer. So very very cool so I really like this one I'm always down for you know extra uh, customization settings and then in here you can you know choose all the available applications turn them on for what you want to see and then we have while the screen is on and while the screen is off but we're gonna keep it on always now the next is in the camera section so as you can see it kinda looks a little bit different and um, it is a little bit smoother to me actually you can go ahead and hold this something like this well, let me take this knife and then we can drag it down here to bring it down there that's very awesome instead of them all kind of being cramped up in here so we can pick and choose what we want so that's very very nice so the next cool one is add alternative look so this is a really cool one because if you have multiple users uh, they can go ahead and scan their face and they'll be able to access your device or if you've changed your look and you're kind of struggling with getting to your device uh, you can just add that there as well so that is very very awesome now there is a required open eyes option as well so you can't unlock this phone without your eyes being open so it says for added security only recognize your face when eyes are open so to make it a little bit more secure now there is a native screen recorder on here so if I just tap down on it as you can see media sounds no sounds media sounds and mic 1080p is the max I can do small uh, to large as you can see so that is really awesome that that is there let's go ahead and check it out and see the quality of it allow allow and we'll just do media sounds so if you want to record like some gameplay or you want to record a tutorial or something you can do that on here you also have little options to be able to draw on the display and then we have a little webcam here so if you're trying to do mobile gaming you can do that as well which is very nice so device care has gotten a kind of a new look here so I'm just gonna click optimize it's gotten a slightly different look from what I can uh, remember I happen to settings app issue history show icons on app screen and then advance and then about uh, so if I just wanted to click here to know about battery usage and stuff like that wireless power share it'll give me information about that fast cable charging fast wireless charging so we have all the kind of little options in here as well so, so like I said it just kind of got like a little revamp so if your device starts to get kind of sluggish then you can go ahead and do that we tap into advanced auto optimization auto restart so restart the phone automatically at the time you set optimize settings save battery by optimizing your settings when you're not using the phone so those are pretty much all the options in here and then we have refresh with auto restarts about charging temperatures and all that stuff this gives you about you know some information and stuff Alright, next is going to be gestures. So you have the same gestures from the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro and pretty much the iPhone. It looks exactly the same. Um, and as you can see, this is just better than what Samsung had. They had the three button uh, kind of gesture thing. And so you have the Android 10 gestures on board, which I absolutely love. It's very fluid, very fast. Uh, it's not stuttering or anything like that. Everything is fast and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is definitely the way to navigate now you can still go back to the regular uh, three buttons here but I think you'll like this one I think it's actually pretty smooth I've been enjoying uh, using it I also just really love the way you can just navigate through applications very very fluid 
you swipe over you get to Google now as well very very easy now the next one is digital well-being so as you can see it did get a revamp uh, especially with the UI it kind of looks more in line with one UI instead of the stock Android look uh, which is very nice and it's all the same stuff uh, pretty much all your goals and stuff right there parental controls for your children all that stuff it's still on here if you want to get started with that but all that stuff is still on here so it's the same thing it's just a different layout there's also a focus mode on here for work time and me time uh, so pretty much for the me time as you can see you can add uh, what you want to focus on and then for the work time you can do uh, the same thing so as you can see I have zero apps so if I set my application to whatever I want to focus on and then you know that will be pretty much it. Another really cool thing is the cursor control on here so if I click down as you can see I can control the cursor so you can see it moving that's pretty cool very fluid. Now I think the last one is definitely the uh, animations one of the first things I've noticed and the animations are very very smooth as you can see it's kind of like a bubble kind of thing going on here so those are very smooth everything is very polished very animated on here and very lag free so that's one of the things I've noticed as well but pretty much everything else is still the same so thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one